Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our Bat Challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Okay, I have now got a huge number of these working and we've also got this going in here. Look at all of this lime that is now coming down through. This is absolutely fantastic. This is what we wanted. We wanted to have more lime than we know what to do with. That's perfect. So let's just get some more research going. Oh, I got two new ones up here. I got bullets and I got better shotgun shells. So we'll get that one going. And then we'll do the better shotgun shells. Right in there. That is absolutely spot on perfect. It's even backing up on this side now. I've got so many of them in there. Which is brilliant, fantastic and wonderful. What I don't have is these picking up from the far side of the belt. So I could possibly do with something to even that out a bit. I mean, it's going to empty these out. And then once they have, it'll start taking stuff from that side, I guess. Which will get through them a bit quicker. And the lime is now completely backed up as well. It's down to the speed of the... Uh, I got powder mixer level 2. I wonder if there's a powder mixer level 3. Let's have a look. I'm going to go into here. And I want to go to tech, barreling, petrochem, refining. I think it... No, it's uh, resource refining. Powderizer. There's a powderizer 3 in there. Craft, construction block four, production block five. It's going to be quite a while before we get a... Oh, there's no powderizer. It's a powder mixer that I want. That's an entirely different kettle of fish. There's the powder mixer. That's in... Nope. There. It's not in that one. It's in metallurgy smelting. I'm going to come down here. We have a powder mixer level 4, it's crafting speed 3, so it's 1.5, this one here is 2, and that one is 3. So, powder mixer 4, that is construction block 4 and production block 4. Ooh. You know what that means? We may not be very far off the level 3 powder mixer. We have the materials to make that. We just don't have powder metallurgy level 3 yet. That's a different, uh, the production data core level 2. I'm not very far off of those, though. Right, we're very close to being able to make them. So we would be able to increase the speed that these are being made soon. Just not quite yet. Glass in here. This is good. We're now pumping this out as rapidly as we possibly can. So we could actually bring in some more of these ore mixers. How are we doing for power? We've got to keep an eye on our power supplies. We've got to make sure that we don't have issues with that. And that includes making sure that we have enough fuel coming in. Which we do. We've got a good steady supply of these coming in here, which is fantastic. I uh, just got interrupted there a little bit. We've got a lot of solid fuel coming in, which is absolutely fantastic. It means that it'll help keep things running a lot better. And we burn through the coal a little bit more slowly, which is also good. We're slowly, we are getting through the coal patch here as well, which is another fantastic thing. We haven't got all that. We've got 2.5 million left in there. So we're getting through that one. This one up here still got 27 million, so it's not like we're going to run out anytime soon. And up here we've got 163 million. So that is going into that one up there. And we can always go and add more boilers and that up there if and when we need to. So right now, this... Is working absolutely fantastic and we now have a decent quantity of glass being made we've got a decent quantity of all of these other bits being used as well and there is one of those finished so we're going to the better shotgun shells and start that research so the next thing that we want to build is the the blue thingy-majiggies the blue ones you know the ones i mean 
Angel's components there. So I need blue boards. That's what we're going to start off with, which is glass fiber and liquid resin. We've dealt with the liquid resin. We've pumped that up. And now we've dealt with the glass fiber. We've got the molten glass so that we can go and make this. So we need a strand casting machine. And then we'll just pull it off of this one right here. Uh... I'm actually thinking that we should extend this down a bit more. So I'm going to make some more powder mixers to start with. We run in here and there's a powder mixer there. So how many have we got room for? We could stick another five in there, I guess. Let's start with five and we'll see where we get from there. Uh, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. That is the limit. Okay, so now we can... If I go copy here, I don't want to copy that, copy here, like that, and so much quicker. I love having these robots. Now, I've gone and put in a few too many of these poles, so we can get rid of some of these. Every other one we can get rid of. Uh, I don't worry about getting rid of any more. Okay, so there's a few extra powder mixers just going in there, and that's going to help with the glass production going into the induction furnace level 2. Can I'm going to need strand casters. Pellet press... Blast furnace, chemical furnace. It's over this side, the stuff that we're going to want. And we come down here. So I've got sintering oven. i got strand casting machine right there. Uh, casting machine level three. That's the induction furnace. Induction furnace level three. I need mechanical block two to make those. I've got everything else. I just need some mechanical block level two. So I want two of them, and then I want to be able to make some more on top of that. So I'm just going to go and grab a few mechanical block level two, which are down this way. Just down the other side here. Where is some land? I want to get a bit of landfill. I'm just going to make a bridge across there. Because we're constantly coming down this way, and then we get stuck sort of on this bit. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to take a stack of landfill, just because I can. And then I'm going to go over this way. So it's the level two that we're after, which should be in there. A uh, construction block. All right, I've got the construction block right there. The it, So it's not that that I'm after, is it? Mechanical block, level three. So what do I need to make a mechanical block three? Angel's blocks. Mechanical block one. Mechanical block two. Wait, what? Mechanical block two and one. Fluid box. Metallurgy casting. Induction furnace. No, three mechanical block two. I've got mechanical block two. It's level ones. They're down over here. I've got them in the chests down here. So I've got the fluid box ones. And I'm also going to want those. We'll take a thousand of them. That's the ones and that's the twos. There. So now I can make these. Fantastic. So I want to make four of these. Actually, three is probably going to be enough. And we'll run back up again. So now I can just go... First up, we'll put the little land bridge bit in. I wanted to put in over here. So we'll just run over this way. And I'm going to add in a little bit of landfill. Across here. And I'm going to put in a bit more right there as well. Fantastic. And then I'm going to go here with brick paving that in. Now, because I'm carrying bricks and I've got robots, they decided they were going to do that all themselves. Which is jolly admirable of them. It now means I don't have very many bricks on me. 
I'm going to go back up this way now. And Oh, I know what I can do because my robots are no longer doing a whole load of building. So we could make use of that. Slow down for a minute. And I think we will work on this bit right here. Now, I've got robots there. They're carrying material from this chest. From the little bit that we had there, which is 288,000, and they're carting it all the way up to the top up there. Uh, let's go in here to research, and we've got barreling pump level 2. Is there any other sort of crucial ones? A stack inserter 2. Move more items at a time. Well, we'll go for that one. Yeah, we'll take that for a minute. I'm going to bring the robots in here and have them starting to put some landfill down on there. So I want my landfill 400 design in here. That one's going to go... need to press shift and then put that one down in here. Put that in there. And fill all of that in with landfill in there. And then we can go over this way. And again, I've got more landfill that we could put in here. But in order to be able to do that, I'm going to need to put in my other one, which is the construction zone expander. Now, I have foolishly gone and put that right up to the top, which possibly was a mistake. I can fit them in all the way along the rest of it. So I can put the construction zone expander in there. And put it in there. There's a whole load extra gone into that bit, which don't need to be there, but that's fine. And then we will go here with remote charging station. And these, I can ghost print them down like this. Just put a few in. And then I'll take these. And just add some of them in. And then I will ghost print in these. Because I'm going to want the network to be able to join together. Now I know elsewhere I've already got this network joined together. That should be enough to step across that gap. That's going to be connected up from the bottom there, and it's also connected up from that side. And then finally, we will add in just a couple of these. One there and one there. And one there on that junction. What we do for now. Right, that'll keep the robots busy for a little bit. And then I can keep going back up this way. So it's over to the glass now. I've got these two. We've got now, we've got more glass than we know what to do with. So I will go in here and we'll take the induction furnace. So that one's going to drop down there. It's going to be an upgrade. And that one's going to be an upgrade. And then that one is going to be an extra. So I will just do that. Copy it out. Then we run a bit of pipe up through that way. We will put one, two in there, and I'll run a little bit of belt down there, and then I'll go with one of those in there. Right, so I've now got induction furnace level three, three of them running in here, which is going to fill up the glass in there. I don't actually have any storage tank for glass, which is something that we will get at a later date. I want to run back over to my storage box that I got over here, my um, resupply station, and I need some belts. We're running low on them. I've only got 12 belts left, so let me grab several of them. Ah, I've got two lots of limestone there. I definitely no, don't need to be carrying around, and I probably don't need to be carrying around that resin either. Plus, I've got three basic assembly machines for some strange reason. I don't know why I've got them. So if I put those three down, 
and then pick them up again. That'll break them down into constituent parts. The lime, I can run that over this way and ditch it. Don't want to be carrying that around. Let's put you down in here. So that is all filled up there. Don't need to worry about that anymore. And that one, I'll get rid of that. So now I've got a couple of bits of space. Um, this is all filled up. This is all running now as fast as it possibly can. I could probably do with making a couple more for doing the concrete. Although that seems to be all right at the moment. Um, because it's only going to here and it's just making into that. I'm not actually getting anything else going in there. So there's no desperate hurry to make anything in particular with that. So the next thing that we want to do is we need to do strand casting. Which is there. Now strand casting level 2. Which is the metallurgy casting. And we've got... Quite a few upgraded um, strand casting machines. Uh, strand casting 2 in here is actually just locked behind the coolant. And that will get me the level 2 machine, which is a whole lot faster. So let's switch this over a minute and start researching that. Um, obviously, I'm not going to make the strand casting machine just uh, the upgraded one just yet. We'll, uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to wait for the upgraded one. I'm going to make two of these right here, and we'll start it off with this. So I'm going to want literally just to do this, I think. I put these two down here like this. So I've got copper sheet coil, copper wire coil that can come out. Ingredients, copper and water. Uh, that's copper and water. Glass fiber is just glass going in. We've got iron rod stacks. Lead sheet coils, solder coils, so some different options there. I think it's mostly about storage and moving bulk, lots of it, stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I want glass coming in, and then we've got glass fiber coming out. So we go like that, and I'll copy that one into there. Then these pipes are going to run down here like this, and I'll put them that way and over that way as well. So we join both lots in together. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a belt that is going to run that direction. I don't need an extra one of these. I'm just going to put a chest there that's in range of that one. So I don't need to do anything extra for that. That's going to have two of them on it. And then I can put one, two in here. And then I go one and two out from there. Power pole. Power pole and power pole. Right, I have glass fiber being made. It's being made reasonably quickly once the coolant is done. And we can move on to the level two recipe in here. That's going to speed things up a little bit. We're going to, we've got molten glass there, usage. We've got six uses. Battery casing, which we're doing. Glass fiber, which we're now doing. Uh, molten glass into glass, we're doing that one as well. Molten glass and lead into glass and lead oxide. 40 molten glass into three glass. Lead into lead oxide. So if you put lead in it, you get more glass coming back. Uh, this is battery 5 electrolytes. Much later on. And this one here. Molten glass, molten tin, and nitrogen gas going in. It gets you glass and tin ingots coming out. Which, I don't know if that's... That seems to be less efficient than the other one. This one, uh, no, that's molten glass. I see. Right, so 40 molten glass gets three glass panes there. This one with the lead into lead oxide gets four, so you get um, 10 each. And then you move to this one, and 40 gives you five sheets of glass. So it is a slow improvement across the board as you work your way through them. But anyway, not, none of that really matters. I now have... Some glass fibre right in there. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is actually just 
combine these two in glorious amalgamation. Angel's components. Blue board, craft, glass fiber, and liquid resin. So I've got to bring it to the liquid resin, really. I can't really have the liquid resin being brought anywhere unless I'm putting it into barrels and then having the robots fly it around the map. And I don't think really we've got enough um, robot power to be able to do that properly just yet so we're going to refrain from that one which means i need to go and find my liquid resin which is all the way down over here we've got all of our greenhouses now working we've got a whole load of saplings running through here which is looking absolutely fantastic and working really well i've got the timber line over here where does that even go oh that goes down to these so that's the timber there. This timber here is all completely full. That runs up round there. I've then got another one that heads over this way to make them. I got more timber than I can shake a stick at. And then we've got the resin being made over here as well. So I've got two tanks in here. We've got 37k in that one, 37k in that one. We're doing quite well with that, and I've also got some resin heading off over there to do the casting, and we're kind of using that up slowly. So I need to actually get to that resin that we've got, this reserve that we've got now, and I need to be able to pull it out of here to a new production area. We're going to need to properly start extracting this ore and this ore at some point. What I'd also like to do is expand this. I do have to be a little bit careful about expanding down here because I'm a little bit too close to these ugly things for comfort. So we're going to have to be careful about getting around them. One of the problems we're going to have is once we do have the long-range guns and we can start bombarding everything, uh, the issue is going to be that we don't blow up the gardens. Like, there's a garden there, a swamp garden... There's no way that that is going to survive intact when we start blowing stuff up. Because it's going to blow up these biter spawners and all of these worms all the way around it. They're a little bit too close. I think the, um, the damage around the outside of... the word I'm looking for and I can't think what it is at the moment. But anyway... Um, Collateral damage. There's going to be collateral damage there. And the swamp garden is going to be destroyed. So we'll end up losing that one. So it is really good, the long-range bombing. Uh, see, that one there will be fine. That one will survive intact. We've got a whole island here in the middle with rubite, bobmonium, and some natural gas that will be fine as well. We've got more multi-phase oil. Uh, so some of, these, some of these will survive. There's one there that probably won't. I've got thermal water on that island, and we're going to want thermal water. And it appears that thermal water is something that we can't go and make. I thought we could. But it does appear that there is no alternative for thermal water, so we're going to have to get that. Now, all of that being said, where am I going to want to expand? I, I can expand downwards over here. That would be fine. We, we could do quite well with that. These here are getting closer and closer to that lot. Uh, they still haven't gone over to this radar. That one's still angry about the radar, but they haven't gotten any closer to it. So I'm going to count that at the moment as a win. Over here, we have masses and masses of these things accumulating. And in, in there, we've got... Look at them all. Look, we've also got loads of, like, little alien artifacts on the ground here. And I don't even know why they're there. I don't know what's killed them. They've kind of suicided themselves. Like lemmings. It's terrifying the amount of things we've got. That one might survive. That garden there. There's another garden up there and one there. So there are a few gardens around that we may be able to keep may survive the coming onslaught intact. In the meantime, where am I going to build? Let's worry about that. I think we will do a bit of building here. So I'm going to go from that line that I've got, and I'm going to extend that down. Because I've already got this. This is all part of the island now, so there's no point in trying to 
like do anything different with that. So I'm just going to go there with the landfill. First up, how are we doing up here with these robots? They're actually doing all right. They've got that bit just about covered. And they've got most of this covered as well. They've gone and put in everything that I wanted to put in up there. So first up, we're going to go in here. And I'm going to shift click and put landfill just along that bit and just fill in that little bit there so then we can do another line further up and over here i kind of want to bring that out but not at the moment i think it's going to be more useful if i extend this bit down here so we will do this but what i'm going to do down here Bring it over like this. It's going to stay on that line. Like that. There. And then once that's all been filled in, I'll do another line of these right down here. And I'll do that all the way across. And then we can bring that down. Kind of, kind of keeping it square. Uh... I don't really want to get down any further here, though, because that's going to be going onto this island, which is right up against them. Uh, which is something that we got to be very, very careful of. So I'm going to have to watch out for those coming in. I can extend this out. We might just sort of go from this point and extend that out up this way and fill in after we've done some more work up there. So we've got those bits fine. Now, where am I going to do the glass resin stuff? I'm not going to try and fit it in there because it's going to interfere with us extracting that ore on there a bit later on. So, I'll just bring it over to this corner over here instead. Which means I first up want to join the tanks together here. I know they're joined together at the top. I'm actually going to join them together on the bottom as well. I'll just put them together like that. And now i got to figure out the best way to run them out. I mean, want to bring them down here. That's going to be the best route. I'm going to take them out down that way. So in order to do that, I want to bring them down there. They can go under here and then go around a corner right there. So I want to go right along here. That one's going to go up to there. We put a pipe in here. We put a pipe on that corner. We go for some underground pipes now. And that goes to that point. And then here they can go right underneath exactly where I want them to go, which is right there. And then i got another pipe that just turns the corner. That one goes in here like this. We can then bring it over to this side. And that will allow me to run it exactly where I want it to go, which is going to go over to there, around this corner again. That's going to drop down there. I'm going to need to put, yeah, I'm going to need to put a middle section in here somewhere, so that one's going to go right there. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.